Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and I'm joined today with Ella. So after her birthday, we've been doing a ton of organizing and you'll see this thing behind me and this came from one of her memes. Um, it really has kind of helped, I think, way more than she thought it would. Um, it's basically a way that we organize all of her accessories, all of her um, hair accessories for school and stuff, and it's honestly made school mornings just a little bit easier, <laughs> which I'm always extremely grateful for. So today I kind of want to just show you guys each of the drawers, show you how we personally organize stuff. This thing is not filled up by any means, but I feel like that's a beautiful part as we grow and expand our collection and as her style changes as she gets older, it allows us to change out stuff and it allows for um, some growth. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what is in here. So in this top drawer like I said there, it leaves us plenty of room for growth and to expand her collection but we have a couple rings over here in this convenient ring holder we just have this empty container um, that some of her unicorn rings came in and then I figured in here we could keep some of her bracelets which some of our braces are actually hanging up on the side, so I'm going to have to move them into here. I just like to have them here a little bit better. Um, but that's all that's in the top. In our first drawer, this is what we got. This is probably the drawer I think that has like the most kind of compartments like this. You can see in the back that there is a little bit of um, more compartment space. But here we just have this little elastic organizer. This isn't one of those elastics that I would use to put her hair up in a ponytail just because her hair is so thick but these kinds of elastics are really good for braids or if I'm doing like half up half down or just pulling some hair to the side so that's what I use these elastics for and then this middle compartment is probably the most chaotic compartment that you're gonna see in the video it's all of her earrings and these aren't necessarily organized by like style a couple of them are like i try to keep some small studs together some flowers together some big kind of pearl earrings together her backs together but the thing is the pairs are together so if i see like this little flower earring here that she wants to wear i know that the other one will be in the same compartment and then over here um she only has one large clip but i'm gonna keep large clips over here i think she got this one from icing maybe whoops from icing but it, for, it fits perfectly in this one so that is the first drawer our second drawer is more like elastics and stuff I'm gonna have to get more of these containers as you can see there's like a random blue one here but this is a really simple way of organizing her hair elastics like today she's wearing a purple outfit so this morning is so easy to go in here grab a purple elastic find a purple bow it just makes it really really simple to accessorize and get her hair ready in the morning I'm not quite sure where my mother-in-law necessarily got these I'm sure you could find similar stuff at Target or like the container store I know they have a ton of stuff but there are other ways of organizing it but I do like having them in these small containers I apologize by the way if I feel a little out of breath a little breathy today I'm really not feeling this well that well and this is the most I've talked today so bear with me we have some larger containers I actually have um, another one out here that had gotten wet so I was letting it air dry but now that it's air dried it's good to go and we have more elastics and I could take those purple ones out and put them in here I just think they might be a different size but we have more different color hair elastics and then these are like kind of hair elastics but not quite and then these are like medium size bows we have smaller bows and we have larger bows in here as well but if i'm looking for a medium size i know to go here all right moving down in our next drawer we have these smaller containers so in this back one i'll show you guys this <laughs> Um, they're like these double-sided containers so as you can see we have these clips but in each section there's a different color of clips then we have some like design clips over here these clear containers just make it really easy to see what I'm looking for without actually opening up everything so the other side opens as well so again if I'm looking for a specific color 
makes it super easy and fast to look for it. And then the container that is behind that is like floral headbands. So she has a couple of them, but if I'm looking for headbands, like stretchy headbands, that's what's in this container. And I believe in one of my back to school hauls, I showed you guys a couple of them. So you might recognize them. As you can see, some still have the tags on. It's the beginning of the school year. So we'll get an opportunity to hopefully wear pretty much everything throughout the school year. But that is it for this drawer. So we'll move down. We have some more containers and this is where I keep my larger bows. So you can see we have a pink one back here, a burgundy one, a black one, and then she's wearing a large purple one today. These are clips that I'm actually going to be moving. I, um, I know I have a clip container somewhere, but I just put those there for now, but they won't live there forever. And here we have some other containers. So as you can see, we have our white roses, red roses, pink roses, our, um, our rose gold clips, our princess clips in there, and then again, like the mini size bows. And then underneath that, I have another empty container that we can use to fill up. And I'm not sure if I was planning on putting um, these clips in here or not. I don't remember my plan, but we'll see. We'll go ahead and put these back for now and move on. We only have two more drawers left. This one is probably the most unorganized of them all, but it's still kind of organized. Like this is all, of our headbands that are not stretchy. So she does have some cat ones. You'll see over here that these are like dress up headbands. So I left them out. I'm gonna find a little container for them. But these are like headbands that she would wear to school. Um, again, I've shown these in like a back to school haul. This thing is, is pretty, pretty full of headbands. So that is all that's in there. Nothing too, too exciting. And then the last drawer down here has some more containers. So we have three containers here. This one, again, is full of mini bows. So I might end up taking these out of the packaging and then the mini bows in the other container, I might end up putting them in here. This is not organized perfectly. I'm definitely like changing everything still, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then this one has all of her floral clips. And as you can see, I try to keep the pairs together but they just clip into her hair and I have two of each kind. And then this kind of holds larger clips as well. So like the butterfly clip, these just aren't as big, so they fit into a container. So not the really large clips, but larger clips, I guess. So the next thing I'll show you is on the sides where she keeps all of her necklaces. So we try to keep like longer necklaces on the top. Like I said, I want to move these bracelets to the top container, so I'm going to take them out. Um, but she just has some are like play, uh, play necklaces. Like she has this mermaid. She has these beads. She's been wearing this one <laughs> in particular a lot. But I'm trying to keep the um, shorter necklaces near the bottom. This one's kind of long too, but just some of her necklaces is kind of like a fancier one over here and then the other side is the exact same thing it doesn't open as much because we don't keep as much in here but just a couple more necklaces she has this little bracelet here which also can be moved this is another bracelet that can come down so yeah again just kind of necklaces and dressy stuff so as I move this stuff real quick into the top, I just think this is a great way. If you have a little girl, they don't even necessarily have to be in school. I just thought this was a great idea on how to organize their accessories because you can even like put, I have little lip glosses in here. Of course, you're going to want access to this, so I wouldn't put too much on top. But, you know, one container really isn't that big of a deal. She also got like a little hairbrush. And then again, these were the other accessories that I still have to come in and organize. And this little swing piece, this was here before we brought this in. And then I realized that I can't open the top with this in. So this will get moved. I was just putting it back for now. This little thing was on it too. <laughs> but honestly, I just used to use like little containers like this and it just wasn't cutting it. Like all of her headbands used to stand up in here and they would constantly fall over. It would just make a mess every time the girl reached for a headband. So this is just such a simple and cute way. Like it's it's not an eyesore. It looks super cute in her room. It keeps us super organized. 
And like I said, there's just so much space for me to go and add some more containers, fill it up as we go. So I'm so excited. I just want to share this idea with you guys because I know a lot of you guys are also moms with little girls. So if you're looking for a really good way <laughs> to organize your kids stuff i love this idea and i just want to share it with you guys so i hope you enjoyed today's video i know it was a little different but you know my channel is focused around beauty and motherhood and lifestyle and this was just something that i really wanted to do outside of a vlog and go in depth and show you guys now just to figure out how to organize her stuffed animals so if you have an idea from you for that let me know that might be a whole nother video but for now one thing at a time and i'm super super happy with it and once again i just want to thank my mother-in-law for giving this to us putting in the time to personalize it ella loves it it looks super cute in her room so thank you again so much miss and um yeah thank you guys again so much for watching if you enjoyed today's organization video please show me by leaving a thumbs up check the comment section comments may or may not be disabled decides what kind of mood youtube is in today <laughs> but as always you can always comment on my community tab or find this thumbnail on my facebook or my instagram and let me know what you guys think and i will hopefully see you guys in my next video bye